Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution The Missing Link. Last time, we had made our way through the interrogation wing and taken the secret elevator to the restricted wing of Rifleman Bank Station, so let's pick it up there. Chapter 4, An Eye for an Eye. Jensen gained access to the... D Whoa. Let me just Google right quick, if I can, what the chapter description was, because that went by too fast to read. Well, I don't quite know. This is going to be a very short video because I don't really have a lot of time and the next segment is short anyway before things really pick up, so... Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna head back to the main menu. Just do this over and over again. Oh, no, it's not gonna let me. I forgot that detail. I have to start the game over completely. Okay. I'm just a little too stubborn to miss anything, you know? Chapter 4 was called An Eye for an Eye. Jensen gained access to the detention camp's restricted interrogation wing and found signs that Burke was carrying out... dot dot dot... <laughs> Medical testing on many of the female detainees, but Keitner needed hard evidence to take to Interpol. dot dot dot... Then Jensen went, went, witnessed Burke and two scientists accessing a secret elevator in the morgue. Dot, dot, dot. This should be the last one. Gaining access to the elevator might provide the evidence he needs. There we go. And here we are in the restricted wing. Oh. For now, we can just go through here. We see a bunch of weird machinery running. Tough to know exactly what it's doing. But we'll keep going. Test subject. Please, please don't leave me like this. No hope. Nothing to do but kill me. Beg you. Nothing to do but kill me. Beg you. Okay. There's a level 5 computer here. Painkillers next to it. T. Kavanaugh, don't have the code. People who aren't Factory Zero should hack it, of course. Dr. Kavanaugh's over there. Tranquilizer darts here. Inside the drawer, there's an EMP grenade. Shelf is empty. This newspaper. Heaven to open to all, Page Industries has sped up its plans to build the first permanent commercial space station, named Heaven. 
The Orbital Resort will accommodate 12,000 people and offer many five-star restaurants and hotels. Expected cost for a night's stay, 100,000 credits. Biotech industry leaders to debate ethics. The International Panel on Biotechnology and Ethics in Scientific Research, IPBESR, has announced plans to convene early next year specifically to, to discuss the issue and future of mechanical augmentation. Specific objectives of the panel will be threefold, stated Christian Hoog, chairman of the Ghent University Bioethics Institute and head of the IPBESR steering committee. First, to hold an honest and open debate on current practices relating to neuroprosthetic research. Second, to provide thorough, forward-looking analyses into the future of the human-machine interface. And third, to evaluate current trends and emerging studies into less invasive augmentation technologies. The ISB... The IPBESR's announcement comes on the heels of growing public outcry over augmentation recalls and calls for a United Nations-sponsored vote on industry regulation. I don't really know what's going on here, but over here we have a pocket secretary. No subject, from Tiffany Cavanaugh to Gary Savage. Gary, when you get a chance, I've received something on the lab computer that you need to look over. Log into my account, T. Cavanaugh. Password, S-G-S-U-L-P-K-T. Where is he getting this? T. Awesome. Here's a third data storage device, which you'll want to pick up. Both for XP and an achievement. Data storage device. This disk is labeled OCM slash Moonbase Omega, a rewritable data storage device that contains holographically encoded information. Data retrieval can only be accomplished by inserting the disk into the correct display board. This disk has been labeled OCM slash Moonbase Omega. Okay. With all that done, deal with these in a minute. Over here we have a Cyberboost Pro Energy Pack. There's an ebook here. Synthetic Thought, the Human AI. Can a machine think like a man? Since the late 90s, the scientific community's attempts to construct what one might call a biocomputer system have evolved from pure science fiction to a viable and very real research endeavor. Consider a biomatter device with the capacity to repair itself, to reprogram itself, perhaps even at some advanced levels of complexity to modify its own structure to better perform its assigned tasking. The ongoing maturation of nanobiotechnology has opened the gateway to the construction of nanoscale systems utilizing biologically derived components, merging organic interfaces with the processing capacity of traditionally derived computer architecture. Pioneering designs already exist, using patterned variations built on the brain structure of minor phylum rodentia and canines, and the potential for a human-scale iteration of this technology is not only possible, but if successful, may represent a radical evolution in thinking systems. Yeah, something happened in here. Alright. Obviously, if you're not Factory Zero, you should hack it, but I'm just going to use the password we found to get in and read Dr. Cavanaugh's emails. From Bob Page to Tiffany Cavanaugh, regarding serious concerns. I understand your concerns, Tiffany, more than you know. The loss of life is tragic, but in the long run necessary. We have to keep our eyes on the future. And I'm not talking about 15 to 20 years. This project is of the utmost importance to the immediate future. Monitoring Omega requires extreme amounts of computational power, and heaven is almost set to open to the public, and then there are geothermal stations. Only the OCM even approaches the sheer data crunching capacity needed to run those operations. I know it may seem callous to consider these things ahead of human lives, but these projects will save so many more lives. There are other avenues I am looking into. Certainly, if we don't see clear-cut improvements coming out of Rifleman Bank, we will terminate the project and pursue another course. I've spoken with Gary about this. I think he agrees, but we have to pull together if we're going to get anywhere. For now, you're right. Absolutely. The numbers we're seeing, the losses, are unacceptable, but I shudder to think what it would be like without someone like you on the team. Someone who sees the human side of the equation. I know I haven't completely assuaged your concerns. There's no way I could do that without asking you to go against your character and completely ignore your empathy towards these people. What I am asking you to do is to stick with us and use that empathy. You're our conscience, Tiffany. We need you. Gary needs you. Please, hang in with us. BP. And, 
How many times have I asked you to call me Bob? Bob Page, President and CEO, Page Industries. Tiffany Cavanaugh, btwks052 at rbs.versalife.org, wrote, Mr. Page, the situation at Rifleman Bank is unacceptable. I fully understand that we are somewhat responsible to Bell Tower for our continued research in this field, but the means they are using does not justify any successful results we may achieve. In fact, I'm not convinced that their ultimate goal is in keeping with what your organization stands for, at least I would hope not. I've spoken with Gary at length about this, and I believe he is of the same opinion. There must be another way. We are killing people here. Dr. Tiffany Cavanaugh. From Gary Savage to Tiffany Cavanaugh, Orion Insta-Messaging insta Autosave. This conversation was automatically saved in your conversation history. Refugee Kiwi, you there? Are you already landed? Savage. No, still on the sub. Any word from your sister? She said she'd be there. Sandra's reliable. Gary, I don't think I can do this anymore. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Dot, dot, dot. I'll be back before you know it. If I can convince Bob that this is a dead end, what's happening here is... He's a monster, Gary. It is a dead end, and even if it isn't, nothing is worth what we're doing to these women. I wish we'd never joined with VL. This isn't what I signed up for. Tiff, this isn't Bob's doing. We were sent in to clean up the project. If it can't be done, do you really think they'll can it? They will if we find an alternative. Reed or Nano? You know the one I think has the most potential. Just hang in there a little longer, and no grand gestures. Yes, boss. From Workstation 25 to Tiffany Cavanaugh. Supplies? Tiffany, I'm about to send a supply requisition to VL for the next series of tests. Burke has already put us on notice that the ships will be docking as soon as the storm breaks, so things will get busy in here. Also, I'll be leaving the base for a few days, so you'll have to handle the preliminary tests. Bob wants to meet face-to-face -face about our progress. He's also bringing a Mr. Everett, probably one of his backers. Fingers crossed that I can convince them to look into Nano, or at least get a look at the Reed research. I can't shake the feeling that we're spinning our wheels here. Try to not butt heads with Burke until I get back. Gary. From j.maxwell at hq.belltower.net to Tiffany Cavanaugh. Regarding special request. Jesus, Tiffany. I know you introduced me to Kathy, but I could get in a lot of trouble for even looking at these records, let alone sending them to you. Please, delete and forget this once you've had a look. I'm not sure how much help it'll be anyway. Looks like it's been altered for consumption. By who, I couldn't tell you. Who is this guy? Some kind of spook? By... By the way, where are you? Any chance we can all get together soon? The kids have been asking about Aunt Fanny. Love, Jay. Classified. Subject. Blank. Nationality. Blank. Age. Blank. Record. West Point Academy. Blank. USMC Base Camp Pendleton. Blank. MOS 0317 SSP. USMC First Recon. Blank. 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 Dishonorable Discharge. Blank. Bell Tower Associates. Blank. 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 Project. Blank. Psychological Evaluation. Charismatic, leader, iron-willed, able to com compartmentalize, detail-oriented and methodical, seems to exhibit fairly sexist tendencies. Physical, systemic augmentations, advanced sentinel medical blank, advanced dermal plating blank, ocular cranial augmentations blank 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 blank, other, artificial skeletal, particularly cranial, remodeling, restructuring via experimental C nanotubules, end. Jerry Maxwell, Personnel Management, Bell Tower Associates, LDN. Tiffany Cavanaugh, BTWKS052 at rbs.versalife.org, wrote, Jerry, I know I said I'd never collect on that favor, but I really need your help. You've been at BT for a few years. What are the chances of getting your hands on someone's personnel files? Specifically, Peter Burke. This is asking a lot, but you know me. I would never ask if it wasn't absolutely necessary. Love to Kathy and the kids, Tiffany. Okay. Now, I don't want to trigger the cutscene. Good, it won't trigger unless I talk to her. That's good. So, in the drawer next to her, there is a Praxis kit. Test subject. Revealed no statistically significant changes in glial tissue buildup and subsequent degeneration. That's the 14th Praxis Kit, and here's the last Hugh Darrow ebook, 200 XP. Nano Augmentation, Pipe Dream or Theory for the Future, by Hugh Darrow, excerpt from a paper in Neo Nature, September 2022. We've been throwing around the word nanotechnology for According decades. To Commander Burke, initial field tests are positive. Operatives report function within expected parameters. Never mind the cost. 
And yet, despite all our best efforts, we are only inching closer to that molecular scale frontier when in fact we should be racing toward it. In the decade to come, the enhanced beings, post-humans who are our progeny, will look at the mechanical devices we rudely bolted onto our living flesh or buried. P-027, proceeding as expected. However, preliminary simulation indicates little to no improvement or buried inside our gray matter, and they will mock us for our crudity. They will look upon what we have made with the same curiosity, the same disinterest, as the pilot of a VTOL helicopter would look upon an ox cart. The future of human augmentation lies in the small, in fact, the smallest. In the next Physical 30 years... Latest implanted patients, uh, ...test subjects, revealed no statistically significant changes in glial tissue buildup and subsequent the molecular frontier will be broken and true nanoscalar reprogramming and biological reorientation will be possible. There will be no more tedious instances of severing limbs to replace them with steel proxies. We will drink in these tiny machines, inject them, and be transformed. According to Commander Burke, initial field tests are positive. Operatives report function within expected parameters. I am going to take her wine. Now, for the, these three holographic display tables, take the three data storage devices that we used. So, you get 100 XP, this is Moon Base Omega. Of P I guess it just shows us the map. Hiron Computer Project 13, TS3, TS5, TS6, TS7. Neat, it's a Moon Base. Oh yeah, here's a trauma kit. Here's the uh, the second holographic display table. Ayers Rock SBTRHQ classified Hiron Computer Project. Hiron Computer Project 10 TS3 TS5 TS6 CCAMs 2 and 19. And here's the third. That gives us an achievement, but this one's Panchea. Worldwide Access Terminal. Panchea 1, 3, 5, 2, 4. Now the achievement we got was the Learned Scholar. When the proofs, the figures were ranged in columns before me. That's 4 out of 10, 40% of all available achievements. And you get it for looking at those three holograms. That's it, really. They're each worth 100 XP. Now, one little note. We can use the trauma kit on her. Administer a lethal dose of morphine to end her suffering. I'm going pacifist, so I'm not going to, but... If you do so, then the safe in Quinn's shop will be unlocked when we get back there. I am planning to have the safe unlocked anyway, so what we do here doesn't matter. I'm, sorry. I'm gonna leave the poor girl alive. Now there's nothing to do left to do but talk to Tiffany. Quite the house of horrors you got here, Doc. You letting anyone in, or just women? Who are you? How'd you get down here? This is a restricted area. Obviously. You wouldn't want the rank and file knowing what kind of sick experimentation is going on down here. No, you, you don't understand. I'm not... Where's Burke? And your research partner, Savage? Burke went back up to the base. And Gary... Gary left. Told me to be smart, keep my mouth shut, and do whatever Burke tells me to do. For now. For now? I heard the three of you talking up there in the morgue. Sounded like you don't exactly fit in here, Dr. Uh... Kavanagh. And who the fuck are you? The name's Jensen. I came here looking for someone. Megan Reed. Reed? I I've seen her research. Gary thinks it could be the key we're missing. If she can be convinced to come here. Megan Reed was kidnapped, Kavanaugh. Violently. As was her entire scientific team and the dozens of women you've been torturing down here. No! You, you don't understand. I'm trying to save them. Gary and I, we were sent here to put the OCM project back on track. It wasn't until we got here that we realized what that meant. And by then, by then it was too late. Let's get more info. OCM. Savage used that term in the morgue. What does it mean? Organic computational matrix. It's a means of cross-connecting living brain tissue and artificial intelligence systems to create a supercomputer of unparalleled capability. Part flesh, part silicon. That's what you're doing down here, turning prisoners into computer parts. Human brain activity has to be integrated with the technology, or else it won't work. Even DARPA knew that. 
DARPA. What does DARPA have to do with this? Nothing. Not directly. In 2007, they started looking for research partners to help develop an artificial cognitive science program that could increase a soldier's situational awareness in the field. A number of private sector companies submitted proposals. Bell Tower being one of them? No. Bell Tower was a private military corporation. DARPA wanted researchers. But one of the companies who did submit something was a biotech corporation that deals with Bell Tower. And they believed a successful program could be designed if it could be wired directly into the soldiers' brains. DARPA wasn't willing to go that far. So this biotech company took the idea to Bell Tower. A corporation that, being privately funded, doesn't have to concern itself with political or ethical debate. How many? Just how many prisoners are being wired into this thing? I... I don't know. But a lot of them don't seem to survive for more than a year. I've told the others there's no way this project can stay viable with these kinds of numbers. But the OCM computers have to have them to work. Computers? You mean there's more than one of them? There's... several. This is just where the process starts. The factory floor. We select the candidates here, implant them, and ship them to the other locations. It's all very efficient. Yeah, except your candidates keep dying. Megan's research. You seem to think Megan's research is integral to salvaging this project of yours. Why? It's not my project. Had I known before I came here... Right, just answer the question. <sighs> We're experiencing cross-systemic failures with the tech. Over time, subjects implanted with OCM augmentations suffer complete neurological breakdown. They... they pretty much burn up from the inside. Gary thinks it's a problem with the acceptance of the P-dot array. I've heard that phrase before. It's the building block of modern neuro-augmentations. Dr. Reed's been reshaping it, changing the way it bonds with living tissue. <sighs> the mutagenic gene combination she's introduced into it, well, frankly, it's astonishing. Enough to warrant her kidnapping? So she'd be forced to work on this project with you? She's not on this project. I don't know what she's doing or where she is. This is the first time anyone's ever mentioned kidnapping. Continue. You're really gonna stand there and try to justify your role in this, aren't you? People are being enslaved, Kavanaugh. Enslaved and crucified. It, it wasn't like that at first. I thought we were gonna make a difference, do something incredible for the world. Right. And look how incredible it turned out to be. But you can still make a difference, Doctor. You can help me blow the lid off this place. Are you insane? I... I can't. There's too much money invested in this. Burke, the people I work for, they'll kill me. They'll hunt me down and kill me. I know people who can protect you, hide you. Interpol is just waiting for evidence to tear Bell Tower apart. It's not just Bell Tower. Oh, God. Oh, God, am I really gonna do this? <sighs> you... You can't get me out through the prison. Burke would stop us. Then we'll have to do what Savage did. Take a submersible. We can't. The hatches to all the docking hangers are locked tight. The only way to unlock them is by using the security console in the prison command tower. Burke keeps an eye on us that way. Then I'll have to go back up there and unlock it. Well, you gather as much evidence as you can carry. Oh my god. I'm really gonna do this. Damn right you are. Now get moving. I'll contact you when I unlock the hatch. All right. Fine. But, Mr. Jensen, please, hurry. All right. 750 XP, getting things done. M3, choices, choices. Primary objective, get Kavanaugh off the base. One of Burke's co-conspirators, a, a scientist named Kavanaugh, has agreed to hand herself over to Interpol. I just need to get her off the base safely. The only way to do that is to return to the security mainframe inside the prison's command tower and unlock the lab submersible. Let's see if she's got anything else to say. I, I'm working as fast as I can, Mr. Jensen. There's just so much data. The OCM project is quite complex and I don't want to trigger any security alerts at my warm Burke of what we're doing. Or, okay, quit. Got it. That's all I wanted to know. I'll be in touch soon. All right. That's it for the restricted wing. Like I said, that was a short segment, but I am going to call it a video. It's not going to let me save in here.
So I guess I'll save out here. This has been Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. Next time we will ride back up to the interrogation wing. If you suspect everything won't go smoothly, you are of course right. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.